the universe. An immensity so vast that the thought of its distance is beyond the concept of the average human being. A sprawling sea of space, bewildering, enchanting, frightening. This is the story of a man who, as none before him, probed its mystery, challenged its emptiness, and found a great secret. And the story of this woman, who, angry with fate, hungered for the secret and the power it would give to her. Yes, Commissioner Eric. Put me through to President Jennings. A priority call. I'll tell his secretary and call you back. They must be crazy. Did you say something, sir? Say something? I'm going to say something, all right. How could President Jennings okay a thing like that? Will you tell me? I'll be happy to try, sir. That is, if you'll tell me what it's all about. I'll tell you. It's about an invitation, Elm. An invitation to the next galaxy war. Here. Hold on, Commissioner. President Jennings will be on the line in a moment. President Jennings speaking. You wanted me, Commissioner Herrick? Yes. Excellency, I've just received your order to return Queen Tridentia to the planet Diana. I signed the Galaxy Council's approval of a request this morning. What about it? But, sir, this is an invitation to war. She's power mad. She's sworn a hundred times since we imprisoned her that she'd get out. And when she does... It's the Galaxy Council's opinion that her threats are empty ones. The ten years of war have reduced her resources to nothing. Surely you don't believe that, sir. I'm afraid I do, Herrick. I wouldn't have put my signature to the paper. Well, yes, sir. Then I must respect your judgment and withdraw my objections. I want the Sky Flash fueled and ready to transport her. The Sky Flash? But, sir, I'm sending Flesh Gordon out on an important reconnaissance assignment, even the finisher galaxy. Sorry, that'll have to wait. She requested the Sky Flash to transport her, and the Council saw no reason to object. Very well, sir. The Sky Flash will be ready as ordered. Now, Dr. Zarkov, by remote control, I activate my thermotron. Amazing, Dr. Weatherby, absolutely amazing. And now I'll decelerate. Dr. Weatherby, I don't know what to say. It's fantastic. Flash, what do you think? You build it and I'll fly it. But Flash, nobody knows what will happen when a ship goes fast enough to break the life barrier. Nobody knew what would happen when a ship broke through the sound barrier either. Everybody said it would disintegrate in the air. It was sure death. Look what happened. This commonplace day is riding out for a Sunday picnic. I'm afraid there's a difference, Flash. We'll have to make a great many tests. What do you think, Professor Weatherby? You know more about this than any man alive. Can a human being survive at a speed faster than light? Well, Flash, I can give you a theory. Opinion, not facts, you understand? Sure. Under normal conditions, I think there'll be no doubt but that no human being could survive the speed. But a ship could be constructed strong enough to withstand the shock of passing through the light barrier. Certainly. I'm not so sure. I think our present-day spaceships would be able to carry human beings past the life barrier provided? Provided what? Provided the interior of the ship was recognized as time. What? Why not, Dr. Zarkov? We can create an air vacuum, a sound vacuum. Why not a time vacuum? Impossible. I do not admit the existence of the word impossible, Dr. Zarkov, because I have already drawn up the specifications for an apparatus that will do precisely that Create a time vacuum. Could you build it into the sky flash and fit it out with your thermotron? Of course. Dr. Zarkov, you've got to let him do it. I can't make a unilateral decision on any matter like that, Flash. Permission will have to come from the Ministry of Research. Professor Weatherby, you get the okay from the Ministry. I'll certainly try it. But in the meantime, Dr. Zarkov, I have a favor to ask of you. Yes, Doctor. Dale Arden was the best ethodynamic student I ever had. I'll need her assistance for some preliminary study. Sometimes I wish you weren't such a brilliant assistant, Dale. I'd have you around more working for me. 
Now, Doctor, I think you cook up these loan outs just to get me out of the way. <laughs> then everything is set, Professor Weatherby. You get the sky flash ready, and I'll fly it faster than the speed of light. But, Commissioner, I was just going to ask you to relieve me of my reconnaissance assignment to the Furniture Galaxy. Sorry, Flash. This assignment comes right from the Galaxy Council. I don't have to tell you the importance of such an order. More important than traveling faster than the speed of light? Traveling faster than the speed of... This isn't a dream anymore, Commissioner. Dale's going to work on a project with Professor Weatherby. That's a project that's ridiculous. We won't discuss it further. Well, Mr. Gordon, are you taking me or are you not? What's an order, Your Highness? Of course I'm taking you. It's a pity that I won't be in the refitted sky flash. It would be most interesting to travel faster than the speed of light. Wouldn't it? But, uh, but of course it's just a dream. Most interesting. Especially if the Lorenz Fitzgerald contraction theory is true. What's that, Your Highness? In its simplest terms, upon exceeding light speeds, all is reversed, possibly even time. Shall we go, Mr. Gordon? I'll be back in two days. We can talk to him. Yeah, if we haven't talked too much already. It is several months later. Queen Credentia, safely delivered to her planet Diana, has been forgotten. And plans on the Fast and the Light project, finally approved by the Minister of Research, are moving rapidly. Okay, Professor Weatherby. I'll drop in tomorrow for the changeover test. Good night. Come on, Dale. Let's drop by Dr. Zarkov's office for a minute before we go to dinner. Yes? Very clear. Get me Dr. Weatherby. Yes, Commissioner. Dr. Weatherby speaking. Uh, Harry here. Doctor, could you come over here for a moment? Certainly, Commissioner. I'll be there in three minutes. All right. Come on, Dale, relax. I've never seen you act this way before. I know you think I'm so impressed. Well, I can't help it. The whole project gives me the creep. What can happen? Oh, look. Look, I'll tell you. I'm going to be the first man to fly faster than the speed of light. Faster than 186,000 miles per second. But why, Flash? Why do people climb mountains? Swim the channel. It's a challenge, I guess. 186,000 miles per second. Sounds tremendous, doesn't it? Sounds ridiculous. Why, well, when I sat down to figure it out mathematically, it was so fast that, well, you'll meet yourself coming from wherever you're going. <laughs> I'm sure, sure, it sounds funny, but, well, I can't help it, Flash. Quite seriously, I'm sick about the project, and I wish you'd give it up. You are serious. I'm sorry, dear. Would you forgive me if I get dinner with you tonight? I'm a little tired. Okay. Dr. Zarkoff, be out in a minute, Flash. I'm in the dark room. Okay, I want to make a... Dale! <laughs> I suppose I ought to congratulate you, Professor. Now that the Ministry of Research has given you a go-ahead on your project to install the Thermotron in the sky flash, you don't approve? You know, Flash Gordon is my right hand. I can't even imagine of trying to operate this division without it. What makes you think you will have to? No one can survive such a speed. That remains to be proven. Professor Weatherby, I have a great deal of respect for you. I think your accomplishments have been extraordinary. If you tell me that Flash will be perfectly safe, I'll feel a million percent better. No guarantees. You see? And that's why I'll have to stop him. You can't. No one can. That's the way Flash Gordon is built, Commissioner. Present him with a challenge and he'll never retreat. Eric here. Zarkov, get to my lab at once. What's happened? Flash has been attacked. Flash, is he? He's all right. But Commissioner. What? 
Dale has been kidnapped. She's disappeared. I'm coming right over. We've got a message from our agent on Earth, Your Majesty. Ah. To Her Gracious Majesty, Queen Prudential Diana. Mission accomplished. Hail to Her Glorious Queen, signed Malagia. I didn't even get a glimpse of the attackers. They were hooded. I was out like a light before I knew what hit me. Wait, one of them wore this? Yeah. It's our only clue, then. I'll have our criminal investigation division go to work on it. They've got to work fast. Oh, I know. You feel strong enough to come along with me? Yeah, I'm okay. Is the activating force of Professor Weatherby's thermotron? What is it? Speak. Speak. You will speak. Have you ever tried living without oxygen? We have a cell where it is slowly drawn from the atmosphere. You will speak. What's taking them so long? No, Flash. It's been almost 60 hours since Dale disappeared. The lab men are doing their best, Flash. Yeah, they... Have you found anything? I think so. I did a spectrograph on the textile used at the Cape. Checked it against the fires. The only source of the wool woven into the Cape is the planet Diana. Diana. I knew it. I knew that why Ketridentia would start trouble. But Dale... What's in the name of the universe would you want with Dale? I can tell you, Doctor. She's after the secret of flight, faster than the speed of light. Impossible. How could she know we had such a project? It's been top secret. And how could she know that Dale... I told her. If anything happens to Dale, I'm responsible. Self-recrimination isn't going to save us. No. Two things must be done. First, Try to figure out what Credentia wants with the fast person large secret, so we can take steps to stop her. And second, uh, simultaneously, they fail. The answer to the first is fantastic. If Credentia can move faster than the speed of light, she has a good chance of moving back through time. And if she's able to move back through time, she can go back. Go back to the intergalactic war. She can go back to that morning, when she made that one great tactical error that defeated her. She can correct it. She, today, this minute, will be the supreme ruler of our galaxy. Dale knows the formulas and the activating force of Thermotron. Credentia will torture her relentlessly until she learns it. The secret formula, Dale Arden. The secret of Thermotron. There's very little oxygen left in your cell. Hardly enough to sustain your life. Speak, Dale Arden, before it's all gone. Speak or die. Dale Arden has been kidnapped from Earth by Queen Credentia, who is trying to torture her into revealing the secret of Termotron the ingredient that makes flight faster than light possible. With this knowledge, Credentia could go back through time and win an intergalaxy war, which she was planning. Learning from the GBI where Dale has disappeared to almost three days later, Flash Gordon and Dr. Zarkoff prepare to take off from the Sky Flash, almost ready to try testing flight, flight faster than light. My installation work is complete, Flash. I still have a little more adjusting to do on the remote control apparatus at the left. Why can't we use the thermotron without remote control? Impossible. Once you break through the right barrier, you will be flying blind. The light rays won't be able to catch up to you. Your flight has to be controlled by an operator who can trace your movements on a radar grid. It's the only way. I was hoping we could use the thermotron, possibly catch up with the spaceship used by the kidnappers. I'm afraid not. Well, we'll have to go without it. Good luck, Flash. Thanks. Thank you, Doctor.
Use the super jets, Flash. Super jets? Back to the horse and buggy. You're a fool, dear Arden. Tell me the secret of Thermotron, and I'll give you riches. Power! Even a planet to rule. A few words. Only a few words. And the cell will be flooded with oxygen. You can breathe. Breathe freely. Freely and easily. A few words. for a moment. But now I know that death, twice as horrible as this, is a thousand times preferable to giving you a secret that will let your maddened mind rule a galaxy. You fool! Now you'll die! Coming in for a landing. What kind of a reception do you think Trudentia will give us? Well, in the first place, she doesn't know we're coming. In the second, she wouldn't dare try anything with us. A desperate woman will try anything, Flash. This woman has a man's mind. It weighs and balances. She knows that if anything happens to Dale or to us, the GBI would destroy her once and for all. She'd take more imprisonment. Always sure that she'll get out and that next time she'll succeed. A typical criminal mind. You fool! Fool! You could have had power. A whole world to command, to bend to your will. Stay where you are, Trudentia. What have you done to Dale? Dale, Dale, wake up. Please wake up, please. Trudentia, I warn you. Don't touch her. Leave her here just the way she is. If you disobey this order, Trudentia, I'll hunt you down to the end of the universe to avenge Dale. Let's go, Doctor. <laughs> Dr. Zarkov, what happens when you travel faster than light? That's a question. I'm serious. Well, according to the Lorenz Fitzgerald contraction theory, at the moment when you exceed the speed of light, you turn inside out. Everything is reversed. Everything. As I understand it, that's the theory. Even time? Time? That's what I ask. Well, if you consider 
But time is finite, as many scientists do. Yes, uh, according to the theory, time would reverse. Sky flash calling GBI headquarters. Gordon calling GBI headquarters on Earth. Sky flash calling GBI. Go ahead, Sky flash. Connect me with Commissioner Herrick. Yes, sir. Herrick here. Sky flash calling, sir. I'll take it. Eric here. Commissioner, has Professor Weatherby finished his work on the remote control apparatus? But let's forget that. What about Dale? Put Weatherby on. But I said put Weatherby on. Weatherby here. How soon can you get the thermotron working? Why, I... Well, how soon? Actually, it's ready now. But there's still some double checking that should be done. I'm not absolutely sure of the calibration of the remote control panel. Forget it. Time check. Coming up to 11.29. Five, four, three, two, one. Check. Okay. Let's go in exactly straight up. But I... Stop arguing. Is there any last minute instructions we have to have? Note the small clock next to the large one on your panel. When you break through the light barrier, the hands will reverse. Can we contact you by communicator? You can contact us, but we can't contact you. You'll be traveling too fast for radio beams to reach you. Okay. Wait for our signal. When you get it, deaccelerate our speed. When you get it. Not before, do you understand? Yes. Okay. Straight up. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Calling Zarkov's lab. Gordon, calling Professor Weatherby at Zarkov's lab. Deaccelerate. Safe. They're safe. My goodness. <laughs> Here's the sky flash. Here's the sky flash. Flash, what about Dale? No time now. Explain when we get back. Cutting off. Set the course for Diana. Her dangerous torture chamber is just around the next corner. Do you think it'll work, Doctor? Are we really back in time? We'll know when we see if Taylor is still alive. Let's see ya. I understand. Dale! Dale. Ladies, after you. 